What's up guys, Catfish KC, this is Nick. What I'm gonna show you here is uh, this is gonna be part one of a bait tank. So this is your regular 275 gallon IBC tote, right? Uh, this one had some sucrose in it, so it's good food grade. Rinse it out, we're gonna be fine. What I'm gonna do, um, I, I'd like to have this in my house, in my basement, but in order to fit it through a doorway, I'm gonna have to cut it. And my basement doorway is 29 inches, so I mean, I'm gonna have to cut it right around here. Um, it's about two thirds to 75% of the way there. Um, so I have a 30, 29 to 30 inch doorway, so we're gonna get to it. It does come in pieces, so I'm going to have to cut both the bladder, the IBC bladder, and the frame itself. So the bottom here, if you can't see it, the bottom here on the ground, it's kind of like a pallet. It's a plastic pallet, basically. The uh, metal cage is gonna come right off of that all the way around. And then there's two bars up here that we're gonna take off as well. Uh, and then the bladder is just gonna pop right out. Should be able to cut it. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the bladder and then mark it where I wanna cut it. So get to it. Get your torques out. I don't know what size this is. 11 t 11 uh, we'll show you what we're looking at there we go Torx and we're just gonna and you know what I actually my dad got me this magnetic tray that I'm gonna put all these in while we're doing this so be right back all right guys we're back and we've got the little bit here it's nice because it just sticks on it. All right, we're gonna get the other one over here. pull the cage off too. Now we can just lift the cage right off the bladder. Okay, we know these ones are pretty big. Man, I can't tell you how useful this thing is. So many times I've lost my screws, scattered about, especially in the grass when you're working outside. They have a way of getting lost like a snake does in the grass. Just blends right in. Couple left, eh? Oh, I knew this was gonna be tough. Might be easier from the inside on these ones. This one's got something on me. Put it in that. Aha! This one will be nice, okay. You know what? We can probably just get the bladder out right now. Make it a little bit easier, probably. So there's the bladder, right? It's about, you know, 36 inches tall or so. We're gonna uh, uh, mark this up and get some lines around it so we can get it cut up. Oh, dang, I got some mud in there. This is Pops, he's helping. Yep. No, no, that's gonna have to go to the ground. But uh, let's work on getting deep. Cut. 
Okay. This thing just, this is a perfect little base right there. Oh, that's perfect for that thing to sit on. Right on. All right, so what we're gonna do is get this measured at about 29 inches. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this cage. All right, guys, so we got 29 inch doorway. I'm gonna try to get it at 30. See if I can squeeze an inch in there, right? So I'm gonna do it this way, the old redneck way. Just gonna do this all the way around, but I'll show you what we're gonna do. Just take this, line it up. Right. And we'll just do that all the way around. So there we go. It's gonna be the bait tank. It's a pretty decent size actually, so I'm pretty content with that. Handy dandy neighbor. Let me borrow his jigsaw. He's got all the tools and I've, I never seem to have anything I need. So. Thank you, Kyle. safety goggles. Don't do what I'm doing. Success! Alright. Watch this. Oh, Hazel, get right here. attack it it's hilarious okay so I actually before I started I did a little test cut right here with this pipe cutter and actually works pretty well so we're gonna make our cuts all the way around this bad boy right, so I'm just gonna make some measurements here Up, let's get the cutting. Few. 
sure I can repurpose the top part of this cage for something to find a use for it. We got the last one here. Just give it a gradual turn as you're going. And I uh, actually figured out if I tighten it pretty tight towards the beginning of this, it actually crimps it in a little bit too. So there we go. Cage has now been separated. So we can do with this whatever we please. And uh, hopefully, this will be fitting down in the basement. So let's go see if we can get it down there.